Now away from the corridors of justice, let's cross over to Kisumu County where the county government has embarked on a mapping exercise of child labor zones in efforts aimed at ending the vice amid growing concerns over the increase in child exploitation cases in the region. According to Humphrey Wendell, the county children's home uh, children's excuse me, children's coordinator, lack of data on the extent of child labor is hampering rescue efforts, consequently exposing children to commercial exploitation. According to data from the International Labour Organization, 150 million children are exploited for labour globally, 72 million of them working in harmful work. I know you will agree with me that child labour is the modern slavery and must be fought from all fronts with all the energy. This meeting also comes at a time Kenya, like the rest of the world, is battling the COVID-19 pandemic whose devastating effects have destroyed families' economic fabrics, sending even more disparate children into the illegal labor market. Kenya has reported a spike in the number of cases of children exposed to child labor since March 2020. We are aware that um, households are finding it extremely difficult to provide adequately for their children. The Department of Children's Services intentionally strengthens the household by providing cash transfer to these households so that they are able to provide some food. It is not enough, but it is a starting point. And in efforts to rescue vulnerable children from commercial exploitation, the Kisumu County government has launched a child labor mapping exercise. In our system where we record cases of ch cases that happen within Kisumu County, child labor is quite minimal. That means that um, there is a problem in reporting. Humphrey Wendell, the county children's coordinator, revealed that child exploitation cases were underreported owing to lack of awareness and consequently led to the rampant rise in the vice. We are closely monitoring brick making sites in Yakach fish landing beaches along Lake Victoria, sugar belt and the bus parks in Kisumu, and other urban centers where children are subjected to hard labor. We have also put our officers on the full alert to monitor cases of child trafficking. In a more recent case, dear delegates, our security agencies fall to incidences of child trafficking and arrested key suspects who traffic children from Eldoret to Kisumu. The matter is currently before the courts. The Children's Department has documented an increase in inter-county movement in Bungoma, Kakamega, Kisumu, Malaba and Busia, where children are transported to work in sugarcane plantations, sand harvesting and in offloading cargo from lorries transiting at the border between Kenya and Uganda. Going forward, stakeholders are calling for an all-inclusive approach to stem the vice. We need to work together as a team, not as individuals, to ensure that child labor is eliminated and this can only be done if we work together to eradicate this vice. Regina Manyara, reporting for Channel One News.